The East Coast braces for a major winter storm. Frigid cold already created a frozen spectacle in Maine. A giant disk of ice in a river near Portland is drawing international attention. It was first spotted Monday morning. CBS's David Begno is along the Presumpscot River in Westbrook, Maine, where the ice disk formed. If symmetry in nature is what you're looking for, welcome to Westbrook, Maine. Westbrook is now famous for this spinning ice disc in the river, which is great. I have a big question. How did the ice get made? It is a whopping 300 feet wide. The frozen disc had been spinning on the Presumpscot River for the last 72 hours, but it stopped yesterday. That didn't stop the people who wanted to see it, though. I was just speaking to my sister in England. I said, we've made national news. And she said, no, you haven't made national. You've made international. You were just on the BBC. Now, a rare natural phenomenon taking shape in the U.S. state of Maine is mesmerizing people around the world. What is going on here? It's Maine. The air is cold. You get ice. Eric Fisher is the chief meteorologist at our CBS station WBZ in Boston. He says the rotation of the ice can be driven by the current of the river but also by the temperature changes in the water underneath the ice. Eric says that creates a vortex that causes it to spin. The shore in this case acts as almost like a grinding wheel where the ice hits the coast and it starts to shave off and it creates this perfect pizza shape of the ice disc there floating in the water. They're fairly rare. We may hear about these uh, once or twice a winter. Stephen Daly specializes in river ice hydraulics for the Army Corps of Engineers. He says while ice disks are not unheard of, the ones he's seen are much smaller, ranging from 30 to only 50 feet. They had the perfect combination of air temperature, ice production, and flow conditions for this to form. People have joked it looks like the far side of the moon. Others have said it must have been brought by aliens. The cold hard truth is, scientists say this did not come from outer space. David Begno, CBS News, on a 10 degree day in Westbrook, Maine. All right, these probably didn't come from outer space either. Here at home, Montana Fish, Wildlife and Parks posted this on Facebook. These are photos of ice discs taken by hikers in Sluice Boxes State Park earlier this week. Pretty cool. I need to learn how they're made. I'm going to be watching for them more now, too. Mm -hmm. Small Absolutely. ones.